Well, hello again, folks, and welcome back to the homestead. People are always asking me for more cooking videos. Today is kind of a crappy day out there. There's a big band of freezing rain coming through, a lot of high winds. It's a good day just to putter around in the kitchen. So what I'm going to share with you here today is another one of my favorite recipes. This is a zucchini parmesan. I don't follow any specific recipe for this. I mix it up as I go along. It's basically a form of lasagna, but I'm going to replace all the simple carbs that you get from the uh, pasta. And I'm not going to use pasta. I'm going to use strips of zucchini. This is a great way to utilize some of those bigger zucchini that kind of got away from you in the garden. So I'm going to get started here today. You can follow along, and then we're going to cook it in a wood-fired oven. Before I get started with the kitchen prep, I'm going to go ahead and stoke up my fire. If I wait until I'm ready to bake to get my fire prepared, especially if the firewood is still cold on the inside because it came in from the woodshed, by throwing cold wood in a firebox, it will lower the temperature of the firebox, in turn will lower the temperature of my oven, and I'm going to have fluctuating temperatures to cook with. Not always your best bet. So I'm going to take care of the fire, then I'm going to go in the kitchen, get everything prepped. By that time I should have a nice stable fire to cook with. A nice batch of coals there. Give it a little air. We're about 275 right now. I'll give that a little bit of air and when I get everything ready we should be up to temp. We'll be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and beat up a few eggs and add a little milk to it. How many eggs to how much milk is entirely up to you. You can use all eggs or you can use all milk. There's no set recipe here. A lot of the recipes that I share with you, I kind of wing it as I go along. I don't follow any specific routine. Not too often anyway. So I leave a lot of it up to the viewers in interpretation and individual taste. For instance, when I showed the seafood stew video, I didn't film a couple of pats of butter I had in the fry pan when I sauteed the garlic. But I had a lot of people comment and go, hey, you didn't show us what to saute the garlic in. I kind of leave it up to you guys. If I show you that I'm using butter, then someone else is going to say that they prefer to use olive oil. And if I say I use olive oil, someone's going to say that they prefer coconut oil. So I leave certain things up to you guys. That way you can make it to suit your individual needs. So I'm going to show you what I've got going on here today. All right, so here I beat a couple of eggs and poured in maybe, I don't know, three quarters of a cup of milk. Like I said, you can use all egg or you can use all milk. It's entirely up to you. I've got some flour here. I guess that looks about a cup. And I mixed in roughly a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And here is some uh, Italian seasoning and I'll mix a bunch of Italian seasoning. Yeah, that looks good. How about that? Into there. I'm going to use some mushrooms. Even though I have mushrooms in my sauce, I like to add some mushrooms. I prefer to use fresh ones, but I didn't have any today. So that's a small can of mushrooms. Even though there's garlic in my sauce, I like garlic. I'm going to mince this up. I got a pound of venison Italian sausage here. Of course, any Italian sausage will do. I'm going to use some cottage cheese. You can use ricotta. You can mix the two. It's not entirely up to you. I have my sauce. I have a few zucchinis here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. I have some mozzarella cheese. 
in a baking dish. Now, I usually do the entire cooking process right on the wood stove. I do all the frying on the top, the baking in the wood fired oven. But here in the kitchen I have five windows, there's a lot of natural light in here, much better conditions for filming, so we're going to do all the prep work right in here today. We're going to be cooking the zucchinis in this old BSR cast iron pan. BSR stands for Birmingham Stove and Range. This pan has been feeding me since the day I started eating solid food. That was a long time ago. My mother used to cook in this pan and now I'm continuing on the tradition. This pan has been well cared for over the years. It's got a beautiful glossy finish to it. Now there's no oil in the pan. There's nothing in there. That's just from years of being cared for. The Birmingham Stove and Range pans are about my favorite. They're as good if not better than the Griswold. They're just a lot cheaper. They don't say Birmingham Stove and Range on them. Usually just the size of the pan. This is a number eight which is ten and three quarter inch I believe. But you can tell it has this heat ring around it. And the large pans have a heat ring but they have a notch here, here, and here. These do not. But other than that, there's no other markings that I know of on the BSR pans. Great pans. Nice way to do a quick mincing on garlic and ginger when you're cooking with the fresh stuff. And a little extra garlic never hurt anyone. A little extra in there. That'll be good. Cutting up the ends. And I'm just going to make slices at about maybe, oh, three eighths of an inch, quarter inch, somewhere in there. Something like that. Some olive oil in the pan here. get that olive oil brought up to temp before we put the strips of zucchini in. You can do this without the breading, of course. I like to have just a little bit of breading on here, which I'm going to show you. For starters, I dip the zucchini strips into the egg and coat them on both sides with the flour mixture. I placed them into the hot oil and cooked them for approximately five to seven minutes on each side or until they're golden brown and tender but not mushy. I tried it before with the raw zucchini and it was just a little bit too tough for my taste. So you can see how stiff that is being raw and this is nice and floppy but it's not turned to mush. These are done just about right. The venison sausage browned up. I like to use a wooden spatula when I'm working with my cast iron. I put this together in the same manner as making a lasagna. I start with a little sauce in the bottom of the pan and layer in the zucchini, sausage and cheese. Then I cover each layer with sauce and repeat the process until the baking dish is filled. I top it off with mozzarella cheese and bake for an hour or so at approximately 350 degrees. I remove it from the oven when the top is golden brown. I absolutely love this dish. I'm kind of an Italian food nut anyway. I love lasagna. But when you make a traditional lasagna, the pasta just throws a lot of kind of empty carbs into your dish. This way, you get to utilize the zucchini a bit more. It makes a wonderful dish and the zucchini will add quite a bit more nutrition to your entree than the pasta would. So I've kind of pulled myself away from a lot of the pastas now and I use cauliflower and zucchini and a lot of different things in my dishes which I will be demonstrating in the future. Give this a go though, I'm certain you'll enjoy it. Oh boy, I know I do. Well, let's see what we got here. I'd say it's 325 degrees. That ought to do. That ought to do it. I'll check it in an hour or so and see how she looks.
Okay, one fire takes care of all my needs. Get all these dishes cleaned up while that Parmesan is baking. Looks like the storm's clearing off for a little bit. Sun's peeking through those clouds. I like it. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, man. Look at that thing. Nice and golden brown. It didn't overflow. Oh, that's beautiful. And a little one for Frankie. <laughs> oh, these come out nice, nice and golden brown. Oh, yeah. It was in there about an hour and a half. Cooked perfect. Well, I'm going to let these sit for a little while. Looks like the storm has cleared off for a bit. I'm going to go putter around out in the barn there. I've got some cast iron I'm working on. Give this recipe a try, because if you're a gardener like I am, you know what it's like to get overrun with zucchinis. So I'll be showing you a few more ways to utilize them. So there's more cooking videos coming up soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did and you'd like to see more of The Cabin Life, please click the subscribe button so that you can follow along with future updates. All the best to you and God bless.